Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And I figured there was still some more information that was coming out about Midnight Suns, even though I wasn't expecting another update till the gameplay footage that premieres on September 1st. Um, so I wasn't expecting anything till then, but the developers, uh, Jake Solomon in particular, did a couple interviews as we saw him at the presentation that we you know reacted to in the previous video. Um, now we have some more information with him where he got interviewed. And so I'll put a link to that full interview down below. I'll just give you some of the highlights. I'm gonna show off some comic book covers here. And we're going to talk about the characters that are in the game that have been announced so far. So I don't know how long this video will be, but I'll try to be as speedy as I can. Uh, but one of the things that was really cool is he, they talked about inspiration and how, um, you know, like what inspired this game and how the game came to be. And it turns out Jake was like, yeah, you know, we've made XCOM, we've made other games and stuff. And it turns out some of the Marvel games people were just fans of our work, especially in XCOM. And they reached out to us and they said, hey, what would you like to do if you got to work with our characters? And he said, so I had a chance to like pitch stuff to them. And he goes, and I just saw not a lot of people messing with the supernatural stuff, you know, at least in the mainstream of Marvel. I guess he's talking about the MCU, which it looks like they're going in that direction. So it's probably why Marvel said yes to him with this idea. Um, but uh, but it's pretty cool because he's setting up that corner. He's like, yeah, I want to do an alternate universe where, you know, the Avengers have saved the world from people like Thanos and stuff like that. And they've saved, uh, you know, they fought all kind of threats, uh, you know, from all different angles but they haven't got into the supernatural stuff yet in this world on this level. And so that's what's happening. Lilith, the mother of demons, has risen and, uh, and is basically attacking the world. And the last chance, the uh, surviving members, the Midnight Suns, they're not called the Avengers because it's groups of people from all over, uh, mutants, humans, you know, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And they're working together and they have to resurrect someone called the Hunter. And so we'll start with that character here in a second, but that's going to be the main character that we play as in the game. Um, and then other inspirations he said was comic books like X-Men Inferno, which was really awesome. And it was funny because I think uh, I think in the IGN article, they actually put, um, you know, other characters in this game will be Inferno. And it's like, no, 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 he's referencing a comic book. I think there is a character called Inferno, so they probably just quickly Google searched it to see what they were, he was talking about. But Inferno is an X-Men comic from like the 80s and stuff. And uh, so this guy seems like he's probably about my age, this Jake Solomon guy. And, uh, and then obviously he mentions Midnight Sun. So uh, Rise of the Midnight Suns is a comic book from uh, like 1991 or 1992, like early 90s. And it crossed over and introduced or brought back a lot of characters that didn't have any um, solo books at the time. So we had Ghost Rider who was on his 28th issue. And this is the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider. And if you wanna see my full Ghost Rider collection, go back and watch previous episodes of you know Highway to Hell. Um, I put that in its own playlist and you can go back and see my entire Ghost Rider collection of comic books. I pretty much have every appearance Dan Ketch has ever even made in a comic book, uh, ever. Uh, so I have quite the collection of Dan Ketch stuff, but I also have all the Robbie Reyes stuff, and we'll get into that in a second. So Rise of the Midnight Suns, it's actually out in trade paperback as of the recording of this. So, um, so definitely check that out. You can look up Rise of the Midnight Suns, but it's spelled S-O-N-S. Uh, not S-U-N-S, like the video game is. Um, you can find it in trade paperback online or digital as well if you want to buy it digital. And I think right now it's only 13 bucks digital, so if you read stuff digitally, 13 bucks is, trust me, it's a good read. Um, so we got Ghost Rider. And then there was a second Ghost Rider book that appeared. Uh, this is issue number one. It's called Ghost Rider and Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance. So the first, you know, or not the first, first Ghost Rider, but the earlier comic Ghost Rider, one of them is Johnny Blaze here. And so it's him teaming up with Dan Ketch. Uh, and that's like a, a buddy cop. It's, it's almost like the, the show Supernatural, which obviously I'm a big fan of. Uh, that's why I always love the show Supernatural because it reminded me of Dan Ketch and Johnny Blaze hunting demons, you know, across the, the U.S. and stuff. So I always like that. Um, Morbius, number one, so that he appeared in the Midnight Suns. Uh, the Darkhold, which is the, the crazy book made of, de you know, that the demons made, um, kind of like the Necronomicon if you're an Army of Darkness fan or Evil Dead fan. Uh, so Darkhold, and there's a bunch of people that have to protect it and some people that want it and use it for evil things. We have Night Stalkers, which is Blade's team of uh, vampire hunters and then uh it ended in ghost rider number 31 so uh so that's the whole rise of the midnight suns uh storyline but the trade paperback includes even more issues including a cool team up which we're going to talk about here in a second so real quick let's dive into these characters so now that we know where the story is kind of coming from you know a little bit of x-men inferno a little bit of rise of the midnight suns and then a little bit of their own flair because they wanted recognizable characters in this as long you know along with characters that maybe a newer generation might not know um so we're going to dive into them real quick first off we have 
Dr. Stephen Strange, obviously. So uh, that's great that he's going to be in the game. I'm very pumped for him. And then we have Captain Marvel here. And I'm wondering, um, and it's not just because the, uh, the young lady who is cosplaying as her, but I was wondering in general, because I couldn't get a good look at, uh, you know, Captain Marvel in the, the trailer. So I was kind of wondering, could that be Carol Danvers? Or could it be Monica Rambo? Maybe this is an alternate universe where Monica Rambo continued to be Captain Marvel. That could be really cool too. Um, so I, I'm interested to see where they go with that or who, who's going to be Captain Marvel. Um, we have Magic, who is from the Inferno story, as uh, Jake Solomon mentioned when he was talking about inspirations. Uh, then we also have Nico, who I pointed out in the trailer is from the comic book The Runaways, who is really awesome. And she's like a protege kind of uh, magician type. And she's got this cool staff that her uh, one of her parents gave her uh, or she inherited from one of her parents who turned out to be kind of evil. And so Nico is trying to fight for good. And I think Nico even made a small appearance in the Doctor Strange movie as well, because I think there was a girl with a scepter in the background somewhere. Um, so that's cool that we have her. We have Captain America, which is really awesome. I love Captain America and Iron Man. So again, heavy hitters, along with characters like Nico and I don't know, Magic, I mean, I don't know how many people saw New Mutants, but you would know who Magic is if you saw that movie. But if you didn't, which I think a lot of people didn't, you this might be your introduction to Magic. But she's Colossus's sister, um, so she's pretty awesome. Uh, then we got Blade. And actually, it was funny. Jake was like, is Blade like a you know deep cut now? And it's like, no, dude. Wesley Snipes is always going to be Blade. I mean, I love Mahershala Ali, and I'm excited to see his take on Blade. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe there's some young people out there that aren't familiar with the character. But I hope, if you grew up watching MCU movies, that at some point someone said, you got to go back and watch this Blade movie. Because uh, those movies, the first two especially, are amazing. The third one is meh to me. But uh, it has some good action in it and some you know humor. But I love the first two Blade movies. They're awesome. Um, and then we have Ghost Rider. And we have Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider, which is really, really cool. And uh, I know some people I saw in comments uh, already making saying, that uh, they're upset it's not Danny, you know, Catch or Johnny Blaze and stuff. And I get it. I'm always down to see what story they're trying to tell because maybe they needed a Ghost Rider where they had to tell a specific story with that Ghost Rider and it just wouldn't have worked for Johnny or Danny. And so I'm willing to let the game, you know, um, show me why they picked Robbie over the other two. But I'm also not upset. I mean, anytime I get Ghost Rider, I'm, I'm happy. And hopefully we'll still get some skins because you saw if you sign up for the newsletter, you get a free Blade skin. And you can go do that right now. It's free. Just sign up for the 2K. Uh, go to the website, sign up for their newsletter. They'll give you information on this game as, as it arises. And you can, uh, and then from that, uh, when the game comes out, they'll send you a code that you can use to get the Night Stalker skin for Blade. So I imagine maybe we'll also get like a, a 90s skin for Ghost Rider and it could look like Danny, which would be awesome. Um, and, so, and maybe some of these other characters will get different skins too. So they're already introducing the idea of skins. So I'm not too worried about in the end getting a version of Ghost Rider that looks more like Danny or Johnny. I'm sure we'll get that. Uh, but for now, we got Robbie, and I'm okay with that because Robbie's awesome. Um, then we have Wolverine, who I'm really pumped to see play in this. Um, I always love team-ups with Wolverine and Ghost Rider. And then we have the Hunter. So real quick about the Hunter. In the trailer, they show a female uh, character. But actually, Jake says that this character is fully customizable because they want the player to immerse themselves. So this is not a Ghost Rider story. This is not a Wolverine story. They're all part of the story. But how much of a part of the story depends on if you choose them to be on your team in the majority of the battles. You play as Hunter, who is a uh, the child of Lilith, and he he's, he plays the pronoun game. So he's very you know, he's very careful with his words. He says you can fully customize them. He doesn't mention it's, if it's male or female. He just says you, they're fully customizable. So you can make them apparently look however you want the main character, uh, which is great because that may everyone can, you know, uh, put a part of themselves into the game and help themselves immerse into the game. And so for doing that, they're saying this is your story. And in between battles and stuff, you'll have downtime with some of these characters back at your, I guess, hideout or wherever you're going to be hanging out. I think they named it. I can't remember what the name was, but they gave it a name, like the headquarters. It's like made up for the game and stuff. Um, and there's going to be Charlie's going to be there, the dog, the hellhound dog, which is cool that they, they'll have Charlie in there. Um, and so with Hunter, you'll 
completely customize them. You'll play the story of Hunter and everyone else is just kind of there to help facilitate your story. So how much they're involved depends on how much you interact with them, uh, both in battle and out of battle. So that's pretty neat. Uh, um, so, and they even said some like Mass Effect level stuff where you can kind of have a relationship with someone if you want. They didn't go into detail as making it romantic, but they're like, well, you can get pretty close to people if you choose to. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. I'm sure the internet's going to go nuts with that one. <laughs> so those are all the characters that we know of in the game, but there's still going to be more announced. So I'm going to go through some comic books here of times where Ghost Rider teamed up with some of these characters. Uh, and then, uh, and then, you know, then I'm going to also talk about some characters that I hope we see in this. And I want to hear what characters you hope we see down in the comments below. So obviously Ghost Rider has teamed up with Captain America before, and these are Danny Ketch issues. So I, I, I have a Robbie Reyes one we'll get in here in a second, but, uh, but this is just when Danny Ketch first came out, I always talked about how he was really pushed on us as readers. Like his look already attracted a lot of people to him. So they started having him team up with everybody. So we have him team up with Captain America here. We have him teaming up with Doctor Strange, uh, both in a Doctor Strange book and then also in the main Ghost Rider book. So seeing, you know, those two on screen together is really nice. Even if it's Robbie, it's still fine. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm a Robbie fan as well. Uh, but then we have Wolverine teaming up with Ghost Rider in the pages of Marvel Comics Presents. And then Acts of Vengeance, I believe, is the full collection of all that stuff. So like I said, I own all of this stuff, all the Danny Ketch stuff, <laughs> uh, including this, which would be really awesome if they put this in the game if or make it a, a, a you know possibility to have this team, which is the new Fantastic Four. You got Ghost Rider, Hulk, Spider-Man, and Wolverine. We already have two of the members, even though it's, you know, it's Robbie and uh, Wolverine, but that's fine. Any mix and match of them. In fact, even if they didn't want to do Spider-Man, if they want to do any version of Hulk, I'd be okay with that. And if they want to do Venom instead of Spider-Man, uh, this is Spirits of Venom, uh, where Venom and uh, Ghost Rider meet. And in this book, you actually find out that the penance stare that Ghost Rider does doesn't work on Venom. How cool is that? Uh, so Venom is impervious to the penance stare, or at least he was. They've kind of changed some of the continuity around. Um, but so these are some of the characters that I hope are revealed. You know, obviously Venom or Spider-Man would be great. Um, Punisher would be really awesome to see in this game. Um, I'd love to see a Punisher shooting magic bullets. <laughs> that's We've seen that recently in comics, and that's always a blast. Um, and Killing Demons, which is just Frank Castle would love that, I think. Uh, Daredevil would be cool. I'd love to see Daredevil in this game. Uh, Werewolf by Night. I've seen a lot of people talking about him. I would love to see Werewolf by Night. Him and Ghost Rider have met in the comics for sure. Um, then also Moon Knight. That would be great to with him having his own show coming up. It would be cool to see him. Uh, this would, would be neat. I don't know what happened to Thor in the, in the game, but Thor and Ghost Rider always works well as a team for me. You know, I really like that. In the background, I actually saw this comic in the IGN interview. Uh, the guy, uh, Max, I think it was, he, this isn't behind him on the wall. Uh, this was like a special edition uh, comic book about a hit and run where Ghost Rider and Spider-Man team up. But it was, a, it was a hard one to track down, that's for sure. But I got a copy of it as well. So I'm, I'm flexing my comic muscles here. Um, and then we have, you know, Todd McFarlane drawing a cover of Spider-Man where he meets Ghost Rider. So again, I would love Spider-Man to be in this game as well. But uh, I'd be cool with uh, them swapping it out and putting Venom in there. That would even be cooler. Uh, so and then we also have Vengeance. Uh, Vengeance I would really like to see in this game. Um, since he ties into the spirits of Vengeance in that comic book and, and the, the story going forward after Rise of Midnight Suns, I would like to see a version of Vengeance in this game. Even if he's a boss fight working for Lilith, that would be cool too. Like an evil Ghost Rider you got to take down. That could be really cool. Um, but then obviously I have the first appearance of Robbie Reyes. And I have a second copy of this uh, somewhere, I think it might be slabbed, that is signed by um, Felipe Smith, uh, the creator of uh, Ghost Rider, of Robbie Reyes' Ghost Rider. So, you know, I'm glad we're getting Robbie, but I hope some of the other characters we get, Moon Knight, Werewolf by Night, uh, you know, those would be cool characters to have, obviously. Morbius, you know, because he appears in Midnight Suns, you know, that's where his issue number one comes from. So to see him in there, and he has a movie coming out, so it could be a way to get people a little bit excited for that too, or a little bit more excited, because I feel like the if there was any hype on that, it's kind of died down drastically. So this could be a way to kind of boost that up a little bit. Um, and then I think there's some other DLCs for other games coming out that feature supernatural characters of Marvel as well. But this is nice because it's the main focus. The whole game revolves around taking down Lilith. And so for that reason, I'm very, very pumped for this game. And like I said, when it comes out, I'll definitely play it and I'll take some of those clips and footage and I'll upload it here as, as episodes of the Highway to Hell show. And we'll just keep this show going. Now that we have a video game with Ghost Rider coming out, uh, there's going to be a lot of content we can make off that. And that's pretty awesome. And I imagine, though, we're going to get to the point where we start hearing more 
rumors because all the way back to Doctor Strange, I think the first movie on this channel, I've been talking about Ghost Rider and, and the potential of him joining the MCU. So it would be nice to see that finally come to fruition with some of the movies they have and TV shows they have coming up like Moon Knight and Doctor Strange uh, 2, you know. So I don't know. And then the Blade movie, obviously. So I would love to see a birth of the Midnight Suns in the movie universe. But for now, I'll definitely take this awesome video game version. And I want to hear your thoughts. What characters that they haven't revealed? I think there's nine, eight or nine characters they've revealed so far. And he said there might be a dozen or maybe 13. I don't, I don't know, somewhere around there, maybe a baker's dozen. So let's just assume maybe there's four characters or five characters left that haven't been revealed yet. Let me know what you want for those last five characters. Like pick some characters in Marvel Universe. Let me know down below and we'll continue our conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in hell. Peace.